Hey y'all, today's video is of an adorable trash shut cake, which is so cute and perfect for y'all to learn how to make, but we were not on our A-game filming this video, so video quality is a little off as well as sound, but thank you for watching anyway, and enjoy the rest of the video. All right, y'all, today we are going to make a trash truck themed cake, which I know you're thinking, ew, a trash truck is not what you want on a cake, but I'm gonna make it super cute and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. So follow along. To start this cake, I'm going to work as usual, icing in between my cakes and then crumb coating and getting these in the freezer to chill. So you can see my cake kind of slid as I was icing it. So I'm just taking a paper towel and pushing back where I want it in the middle of my board. And then when I peel back, some of it will come off and get messed up, but it's really easy just to go back over and smooth out. And then your cake is in the right spot in your board. Now that my cake is crumb coated, I am gonna stick this in the freezer for a few minutes while we get our decorations ready. Okay, my cake is in the fridge and I am going to make the trash that's gonna be on our cake. So I have just a bunch of Oreos here that I'm going to put in my blender. And then I will blend this up to have crumbs for our trash. And then I can pour this out. And because I left the filling in my Oreos, when I blend it, it will squeeze together and become thick if you need it to, but also be really crummy, just like you want it. So I'll blend the rest of these up. And then to test my mixture before I mix all this together. I'm gonna put some of my cookie crumbs in here with some of my sprinkles and then a few of my chocolate chips and mix it up. I liked the way my trash mixture looked, so I am gonna take some of my cookies out since I have too many and then I can mix this in and then I will take my sprinkles and chocolate chips and mix this all together. And then at the end, I will be adding some colorful gumballs and candy later, but for the base of my trash, this is perfect. My trash is made and my cake is out of the refrigerator or freezer, so I am going to ice this as I normally would, starting at the top and then going around the sides. And then for our sprinkles to get caught in our icing, more of a texture helps. So I just have this textured bench scraper that I will use going around my cake. And 
And then I started to do my texture upside down from the way I wanted it. So I'm just smoothing it out again and starting over. My cake is nice and chill and you can see I've put my buttercream in a piping bag and this is just because if I were to go back with the spatula, which you can do, I would fill in where I've already taken out icing. So if I have it in a piping bag, I can just pipe where I need it instead of the whole gap that I've already taken out. So I'll go through and fill in all the spots that I need a little bit more with this and then go back and do the scrape again. And now that my sides are done, I'm gonna go in with just my little spatula and straighten out my top edge very slowly so that I get a nice sharp corner. Now for the fun part of decorating, I have just my little toy trash truck here and I'm doing a toy just because this is fun for the little kids to play with after instead of just throwing out a fondant truck, you get to play with this after. So I am going to set this just off to the back a little bit and I can push it down in my cake just a smidge and then I have the back of my truck tilted where stuff would fall out. So I'm gonna take my piping bag and just pipe a good amount of icing all here so that when I scoop my trash mixture in, it will some dimension. And then for the messy part, I am going to take just with my hand some of my mixture and start going down the sides. So pushing pretty hard just to get it to stick to the icing. I'm gonna go down my cake and start to come around the front some. And then for a little pile at the bottom, I'm gonna do the same thing with my buttercream, just making a pile for it to stick to. And then I can cover this with my trash. Again. Now that I have made a giant mess, I am going to take my gumballs and just stick these in with my trash a little more as well. Making sure to get some up here in my trash truck. And this just gives my trash a little more dimension and size. And then is that not the cutest little trash truck you ever did see? Now this is the point where your trash can be all of your favorite candy or anything, any toys or anything that you like. And then the front, you have room to customize your cake with happy birthday or anything for the party it's going to. So super customizable and really cute. All right, you guys, our cake is all finished. And the cool thing about this cake is all the Oreos and candy and sprinkles would be super cute coming out of any truck. So whatever your favorite dump truck or tractor or pickup truck that you love, this cake would be perfect for that. 
But if you enjoyed learning how to make this cake, make sure to like and subscribe and ring the bell so we can change the world one cake at a time. Bye guys.